Apocrypha may be a couple of weeks away, but it's never too early to start preparing for one of FGO's most anticipated events. Hello everyone, Soberoni of GNA Reviews here, with a servant spotlight for the rider servant that's guaranteed to keep you on your heels, Achilles. We'll be examining his stats and skills, as well as going over pointers on how to utilize him effectively and in overall grade, comparing him to how he stacks up to the other 5-star servants. Now let's take a look at Achilles' stats. Achilles has a max HP of 13,219 and a max attack of 11,883. For a 5 star rider that gives him just about average HP, but he does possess the 3rd highest attack stat in the class. As for how he compares to the other 5 star servants at large, he does have below average HP but very high attack. His stat spread overall does favor offense but without sacrificing too much HP making him more of a balanced attacker. Taking a look at his skills, his first skill is Dromius Cometus, rank A+. It increases his quick card effectiveness for 3 turns and his crit strength for 3 turns, both between 20 and 30%, depending on level. His second skill, Andreas Amarantos, applies invincibility to himself for 2 hits, lasting 5 turns, and also increases his defense for 3 turns, between 10 and 20%, depending on level. And finally, his last skill, the Atrakon Astrolonk, applies taunt and increases his NP gain and his NP gauge between 20 and 30%, depending on level. For passives, Achilles has Magic Resistance Rank C, which increases his debuff resist by 15%, Riding Rank A+, which increases his quick card effectiveness by 11%, and Divinity Rank C, which applies damage plus 150 to all his attacks. As for his deck and Noble Phantasm, Achilles has an Arts Quick deck with Quick Quick, Arts Arts Buster, and a Quick Noble Phantasm. His Noble Phantasm is Troius Tragodia. It increases his Quick Card effectiveness for one turn, between 20 and 60%, depending on overcharge, and deals heavy damage to all enemies, with between a 600% and 1000% damage modifier, depending on level. Taking a closer look at his cards, we see that his quick card hits 4 times, his art hits 3 times, his buster hits twice, and his extra attack hits 4 times. He has an NP gain rate of 0.57% and a star rate of 9.10%. He has some very good NP gain and star generating due to the double arts and quick deck, plus his high hit counts and his strong riding passive. Achilles was shown to be a tremendously powerful and versatile servant in the Apocrypha anime. But how well does that translate over to FGL? Well, from a stats perspective alone, Achilles is packing some serious heat. His attack stat is among the top in his class, his NP gain and star generating are excellent due to his high hit counts, and he possesses an amazing passive in Riding A+, that complements his deck and Noble Phantasm very well. And even though his HP is low compared to the other 5 star servants, it isn't so bad that it's necessarily problematic, especially once you take Achilles' skills into consideration. His second skill, Andreas Amamantos, is one of the best defensive skills in the game. It grants him a 2-hit invincibility and a 20% defense buff for 3 turns. A 2-hit invincibility in and of itself is pretty strong, but what really makes this skill absurd is the crazy low 5 turn cooldown, as it effectively turns the skill into a mini protection from arrows, and we all know how broken that skill is. Thanks to this, Achilles' low HP is hardly ever an issue, as he's guaranteed to nullify a good portion of damage every few turns. But not only can Achilles survive for a long time, he can take it one step further and also function as an effective tank for your team thanks to his third skill, Diatrekon. This skill grants Achilles taunt, and it also charges his NP gauge and grants him a buff to his NP gain. There are many uses for this skill, and it is packed with utility for many different situations. In boss encounters, you can use the taunt in combination with your invincibility to completely tank an enemy Noble Phantasm and save your team, a la Mosh. You can also use this skill as an NP battery to assist with a first turn Noble Phantasm if you're farming an event. And with the right supports, Achilles can even use this skill to help him loop and Noble Phantasm on back-to-back -back turns. 
Finally, Achilles also has an offensive buff in Dromius Cometus. This is your standard quick buff that also does buff crit damage. However, this skill is deceptively strong because it stacks with Achilles' own riding passive to grant him an effective 41% quick buff, very similar to Ivan's own mini mana burst. And just like with Ivan's skill, the high uptime on this skill allows it to even out DPS mana burst in most cases. The crit damage buff is also tremendously helpful for Achilles because he does have incredibly high star weight which allows him to crit more easily and often. For skill order, I recommend leveling your quick buff first as the extra damage is much needed, followed by your NP charge for easier farming, and then your invincibility last. Achilles Noble Phantasm is an AoE quick attack that buffs your quick card effectiveness prior to damage. Even though this is a pretty straightforward damage dealing Noble Phantasm, it does synergize extremely well with Achilles' playstyle. The quick buff that it gives is strong, and it stacks with Achilles' own first skill to make it even stronger than a normal mana burst. The high hit count also helps with star generating and NP gain. If you need a powerful quick servant, there really isn't much need to look beyond Achilles. He is an absolute beast. His quick cards are some of the strongest around since he's packed to the brim with some high uptime, easy to activate quick buffs. His quick crits in particular are devastatingly strong because his crit buff stacks multiplicatively with his quick buff, and he can easily generate enough stars for himself, making him highly self-sufficient, no star generator needed. On top of hitting like a truck and providing some good star generating, his quick cards also provide good NP gain. This combined with his other two arts cards makes it pretty easy for Achilles to spam his Noble Phantasm very frequently. And if you have a certain violet haired beauty to pair with him, he can also loop his Noble Phantasm multiple times for super efficient farming. But DPS isn't all that Achilles brings to the table. He also has incredible defensive utility. Just like with Mosh, his taunt is invaluable in boss fights and challenge quests for soaking up damage and using in combination with his invincibility to potentially save the team from an enemy NP. Speaking of which, his protection from arrows-esque invincibility makes him deceptively tanky, and even if you do get unlucky and lose it early on, he still has a decent 20% defense buff to fall back on. If Achilles is allowed to snowball and start feeding himself stars, he can become a crit DPS monster while simultaneously being tanky enough to survive most enemy attacks. However, one of the major issues with Achilles is that it can take a while to reach that point. He may be self-sufficient, but he is a slow starter, and without the right supports to set him up, it can be hard to deal any real damage. Which leads into Achilles' other major issue, it's damn hard to support him. This is because Achilles is a pure quick servant and a rider, and most of the best quick supports like Osakabe Hime and Assassin of the Nightless City are assassins who you'd rarely bring alongside him due to their class disadvantage. And before we get into talking about team comp recommendations, let me just say that yes, I know Scotty exists, and yes, she is the best thing since sliced bread when supporting Achilles. But Scotty aside, Achilles' class and inflexible quick nature make him difficult to support and use on a team. He isn't the versatile type like Ozymandias, who you can just slap in any team and get results. If you don't use Achilles in the right team, he can really fail to live up to his potential. So I heavily suggest using him in a pure quick team with servants who can buff his damage and his NP gain like Atlanta, Alexander, and Ishtar Rider. Atlanta has an excellent quick buff to improve your burst damage and she can also generate a good amount of stars. Alexander also provides great damage buffs and can provide stars with his own NP, while Ishtar Rider's first skill does an excellent job of supplementing Achilles' own quick buff and providing him with extra NP gain. If you want to focus more on spamming your Noble Phantasm for farming, then I suggest splashing in some NP battery art servants like Nero Bride, 
Helena, and Mosh. All three of them provide an NP charge battery to Achilles, as well as attack buffs, so that he can get off a quick and powerful turn 1 Noble Phantasm. Although in Nero's case, we'll have to wait a bit for her rank up quest to become available. Achilles' Bondcraft Essence is object that holds a universe. It buffs your NP strength by 30%, and also grants the whole team one hit invincibility when Achilles enters the fight. This is, in my opinion, one of the best Bondcraft Essences in the game, as it not only buffs your NP damage considerably, but also allows you to swap in Achilles with the Battlesuit Mystic Code to save your entire team from an enemy AoE Noble Phantasm, making him essentially an even better Mosh. Other than that amazing Bondcraft Essence though, if you are building him for farming, then I recommend using Craft Essences that are going to boost his damage and grant him some starting NP charge, like Someday in Summer, Knight's Marine, Golden Sumo, and Halloween Princess. If you're fighting a boss enemy and you want to go for more damage, then you can use CEs that are going to buff your quick card effectiveness and your NP damage, like Imaginary Around, Black Grail, Gondor, and Dumplings Over Flowers. In the future, I suggest using Traces of Christmas, which is a slight upgrade over Someday in Summer, and also grants starting NP charge while buffing your quick card effectiveness and NP gain. Overall, Achilles is a contender for best rider in the game. He is incredibly self-sufficient when it comes to generating stars for himself, has the ability to snowball and spam his NP consistently, making him a great farmer, his low cooldown buffs make his quick cards among the hardest hitting in the game, and he has nearly unmatched defensive utility that can keep both himself and the team alive for long fights. Just keep in mind that without the proper supports, it can take a while for Achilles to build momentum and deal damage. Likewise, unless he can get his crit engine and NP spam going, his damage is quite low. And if you don't have some really good quick supports, it hurts his overall ability. With all that said, Achilles gets an A from me. At his best, when paired with someone like Scotty, Achilles is the best rider in the game, but if you don't have any elite quick supports, his potential is lowered a bit. Still though, even at his worst, Achilles is an elite rider who can excel at farming and brings excellent defensive utility to the team. And those are my thoughts on Achilles. I especially recommend rolling for him if you plan on getting Scotty later this year. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and consider subscribing if you really enjoyed the video. Join the party over on Discord, chill with us on Twitch, and follow us on Twitter. And I'll see you all in the next Servant Spotlight, so Brony out, later.